वेलकम एवरीवन लेट्स विल स्टार्ट आवर फोर्थ लेसन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिहेवियर इन टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री माय नेम इज अंजुम सठा एंड माय ईमेल एड्रेस anjum@ukversity.co.uk प्लीज इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन जस्ट ड्रॉप मी ईमेल ऑन माय ईमेल एड्रेस आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट गेट बैक टू यू एज सून एज पॉसिबल सो लेट्स प्लीज विल स्टार्ट so before starting today lesson we'll go through what we learned in the previous lessons first first we'll recap what we learned up to now in lo1 lo2 lo3 so at least you know we can contextualize our discussion so organization behavior and performance uh, which is a, one of mandatory unit in othm level 6 qualification which uh, you are doing so first learning outcome we learn about be able to analyze the fundamental structure and objective of, of an organization in tourism and hospitality industry where we discuss about uh, management structure of hospitality industry i mentioned you what's come in the hospitality industry how much worth of the uh, hospitality industries growth of hospitality industries or how organizational structure help in the hospitality industry we discuss different structure of organization flat uh, functional uh, matrix organization structure top tall all this we discuss change of command during our first lesson second lesson be able to assess operational context of tourism hospitality industry and how it affected by the external environment so we discuss about what is meant by external environment we discussed micro environment uh, which is known as external environment which is uncontrollable as a organization we have to adjust our operations accordingly we discuss you know appraise different types of hospitality industry we appraise them how much worth what they contribute in term of uh, uh economy we discuss about the growth in the hotel we discuss about various appraisal method uh, and i mention you under the external environment that can influence on um, hospitality industry uh, we discuss political economic social and technological environment where we discuss about interest rate we discuss about the manifesto of political parties we discuss the social context and uh, we discuss how the technology is affecting a uh, hospitality industry and how we have to address you know those issues and uh, how we can use technology effective effectively so lesson 3 we have learned be able to critically assess performance of an organization in relation to external and internal structure so we discuss both micro and macro environment and we link with the performance <coughs> how this can be play significant role critically analyze the performance of tourism industry uh, we pick the company of holiday in and uh, we discuss about we look around holiday in brand we look around two years performance of holiday hotel and uh, we discuss you know the segment how they segment different brand under the holiday in and their performance as well uh and we use different ratio to measure the performance like men i mention you profitability liquidity and uh, use of resources all this we discussed during our last lesson uh today we are will do our learning outcome four be able to critically evaluate the function of leadership and management so today the key focus is the leadership and management role in tourism or hospitality industry tourism and hospitality industry is a quite big industry during our first lesson we discussed so our l uh, assessment criteria one critically analyze the role of leadership so we'll discuss about the role of leadership what leaders can make difference in the hospitality industry we'll discuss about apply the theories of behavior we'll discuss few theories of behavior uh there are number of theories of behavior we mentioned few in the lesson 1 but this we can go through few today lessons as well and uh, we can look around the role in within hospitality industry then justify the role of human resource management which will discuss you know the role of human resource hr can play a significant in hospitality industry all this will be focused today lesson so let's will start our lessons okay let's guys so as i mentioned my name is anjum and uh, 
today we are going through our level four uh, of this module, which is our unit three, organization behavior in tourism and hospitality industry, OTHM level six qualification. So last lesson I discussed with you performance. So what make performance? We discuss about cost, time and quality. So all this is related to the performance. We discuss about gross profit, net profit, return earning, all this we discussed during our lesson, lesson three. And today we will going through LO4. We critically evaluate the, the function of leadership and management. So leadership and management. So first of all, need to be think about what's come in the hospitality industry to mayor. So if you want to be, you can pick any organization and then we can discuss about the role of leadership in management in the industry itself as well. Because hospitality and tourism is a quite big, big hospitality services, events, travel and all. It can play a significant role. And the leader, leader, which play the huge role to build or uh, perform or run the organization in effectively ways. Okay, so as we discuss what come in the hospitality and tourism industry. Okay, so first of all, we need to be differentiate what is the difference between management and leadership. So, so we can clearly management is attaining of organization goal in effective and efficient manner through planning, organizing, leading and controlling organization resources. So management uh, anybody knows what is the key difference between management and leadership? So managers, if you are a manager in a company, you always manage day-to-day -day activities. You carry on doing the things are meeting the compliance. But if you are a leader, you try to influence, you try to bring something innovative, something new in the organization, you influence another. So that is the leader which will go through. Leader look the long-term perspective. The managers carry on managing day-to-day -day activity. So Peter Drucker, one of the great scholars, he mentioned, uh, it's also known as a guru of management. He discussed about management is a discipline. So in an organization, if you create a discipline as a manager, so it's a management activity. But management is also people. So if you manage human being, because especially organization, especially in the hospitality industry, which is more human involved because the interaction between human. So we need to be manage the human. So if we manage our employees effectively, we can fulfill the needs and the wants and the expectation of our client as a customer. So we can achieve what we supposed to be achieved. Every achievement of manager is achievement. Uh, every achievement of management is achievement of managers. Every failure is a failure of managers. So if we'll say organization not achieve desired profit is a failure of managers because you not manage the activity the way we're supposed to be managed. In hospitality industry, the role of management is essential coordinator. So think about from the booking, from the food, from the room, from the chaining, um, uh, the cleaning is everything need to be coordinated. So like when you leave the room, it's supposed to be informed to the cleaning. They're supposed to be clean the room. Room is available for the net. Data being updated online. So this is all, you know, structure and the people and policies and procedures. All this we need to be. So of the work of the hotel. So for example, corporate strategy, decision making and organization, direction and control system and stuff. All this in external environment, social responsibility as an organization. So that's what we need to be managed. So I copied one of the video. It's quite good to watch. Please to enhance further your understanding about the leadership style. So democratic, autocratic. Think about you working in a hospitality industry as a leader. So we have to adopt the style. If you have an autocratic style, how in a hospitality industry we can sustain or survive? We need. A, democratic because there are many hotels are available if we not exceed the expectation of the client the customer we are not going to be achieve our organization we are not going to maximize our profit so we need to look around the different leadership style role of leadership in the hospitality as in the performance of organization so please it's good to watch this video i'm not playing at the moment but you can copy this link 
and just you know it's a five minutes video try to watch okay so management as i only mentioned management is the planning controlling organizing leading staffing always if you're a managers in in uh, maths we'll say two plus two is make four but in management we'll say two plus two makes five how then can be a question what i learned two plus two makes four and you're saying to me two plus two is equal to five it meant by synergy synergy means different department different people we work as a team and we use less resources and we produce more output more output so it means two plus two not make four it should be five so you create extra productivity extra money for our organization okay so when we deal dealing with the managed resources we need to manage three m's what three m's stand for manpower human being money we need to manage money and we need to manage material material is all sort of building assets yes all infrastructure raw material inventory all we need to be managed so this is that's why we create the surplus so when this is, will come to the leader we discuss managers manage day to day managers anything is a failure is the failure of managers but is the leader the if anybody because that's why is a huge discussion now in academia we need to look around we need to produce leader not managers yes managers can you guide somebody to do the daily task somebody can do it but if you're a leader you looking capacity to establish the direction they provide direction they influence they in line other towards the common aim right. motivate or commit right. them to action make them responsible for their performance hello, hello can you hear me ah oh, can you hear me oh, yes i can hear you now wonderful <clears throat> okay welcome so lead any question no no please go ahead i was just trying to work it out okay great so lead leadership theory is one of the most discussed area of management so there is a huge discussion uh we can like uh max weber he mentioned uh he discussed about uh the leader is also be look around which is manage different approaches they can use inspire others so always leader is something bringing the new and always something influence something bring the chain in the organization if you're a leader there are the different behavior theories leaders is to provide the direction uh, idea that leadership style is not fixed but should be adopted to different situation if you say you always autocratic are you are too much democratic so it maybe don't work because sometimes you have a uh, tight deadline to meet your client's expectation so you have to work according to the situation so sometime explore about contingencies and situational theory you need to be work in the different situation further branch of research that examine the relationship between leader and follower is found traditional transformational leader transactional leaders so the leaders those transform are uh, those do the transaction effectively uh so that's you know we need to be look around so good leadership we need to be really promote within a hospitality industry okay leadership and management what are the good leaders or the managers for many it's someone who can inspire or get the most from their staff there are the many quality they are needed to be a good leader be able to think in creative creativity you're a creative person you have a skill those thing be calm under the pressure if you have a pressure about the deadline you be calm yes you try a clear direction you mm -hmm. narrow down the task possess excellent communication you have a good interpersonal skills we can say you can better understand your client you can talk that's why we'll say you have to put yourself in the customer shoes you look you know what the customer want and you can have a have the desire to achieve the great thing be able to inform acknowledge uh, about the matter relating to the business and possess an air of authority you have a air of authority you can you have a self believe you can do it so management and the leader do you have born with the correct quality lot of theory say no the leader always born so there right. is a theory the leader is a god gifted what do you been 
lot of they say no 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 leader can learn it leader some qualities can be some say no leader can be uh, some qualities been by birth so good training managers deal with the employee the different ways some strict with the staff we need to look around while others are more relaxed maybe is a two ways approach that's, that's why it's called top down and bottom approach is very popular in our organization in different situation the mess, message can come you have to listen your employee especially in a hospitality industry if your staff at the operational level your employee is not satisfied with you as a leader so they are not going to fulfill the expectation of your client and ultimately the customer satisfaction level client satisfaction level will be low an organization only as a good as the person running it so we need to look around according to different authors management always look and support the performance management process they always looking and gathering observations and getting an appraisal meeting performing diagnostic so performance management last lesson we touch a bit as well michael porter suggests organization achieve sustainable competitive advantage by either the lowest cost producer more efficient by adding greater value delivering the greater benefit sustainable competitive advantage we can create if you are a leader private sector company instruct uh, introducing the performance league table like in schools in various other organization so performance is a king in the modern world it is not simply continuous performance same level no we need to be continuous if we're saying last year cost this and we generate the same profit this year we generating the same profit we should generate more profit with less cost so the percentage increase in the profit the percentage increase in the cost should be less than the percentage increase in the profit so because that's why is the come the efficiency so performance and then according to porter approach is creating sustainable advantage so we need to sustain it's not mean you're good in one year but you're bad in next year you're good in one year then you're bad in next year performance it goes it's a continuous improvement continues you're reducing cost continues bringing new ideas and achieving your result which we supposed to be as our in our organization performance management bowman so just the need a strongly and consistent link going on in the world so what competitor are doing that might be threaten your position so we need to be look around because everyone is news competitors carry on coming those can challenge you so what you need to be understand you need a sustainable development in our organization so you carry on continuous improvement carry on changing so as a leader you need a visionary in the pattern to be predict what is going to be happen in future so there are the number of theories we can look around as a to understand the behavior side so there is a mcgregor greater theory theory x and y so they say you know theory x is you need to be leader need to be these are all motivational theories the leader need to be understand these theories and need to be work so according to my greater sometime you need to use theory x which is mean you very autocratic sometime you need a theory y you too much democratic so that's we need to according to the mayo one of other author he uh, studied and he did research on a thorn effect uh, he's saying some factor can be motivated and some factor can be demotivated is called hygiene factor he used to be general electrical company in america he gave this theory i'm not going through in detail but these you know good to be we can explore them and we can link it then we have a mass flow which is hierarchy or it's called humanist because if we are working in the hospitality industry we are dealing with the human so we need to be understand what sort of the need they have because according to the maslow if you fulfill the needs the people will be motivated so if you fulfill the needs of your employees so esteem safety yes affiliation recognition self actualization people can be reached so that can be we can look around according to the drucker peter drucker he saying no no people are motivated with the money so you need to be look around what reward you will give them 
then according to the liquid he said about exploitative authoritative leader needs the leader can be consultative leader can be participative so you have to be look around different situation and liquid ranking scale 1 to 10 you have to look what style is effective you have to ask you know the client which you are dealing with them then the tailor tailor is used to be a bricklayer and uh, he studied in the evening classes he Uh, he gave the theory time and motion he said you know if you reduce like you know if you passing the bricks to the other people you make a chain so like in the hospitality industry if you are working in you have a good coordination in the chain between different department you can improve the performance that's a scientific management it's called father of school of scientific management and he uh, also strong believe the piece rate people are motivated if they work if they produce more you pay them more he not discuss about the welfare of the people he just focus on peace rate and the reducing the time and improving the performance so uh, then horsberg is also motivator factor and demotivator factor hygiene he said you know the people motivated by pay status what you give them what's the status in the company and the company policies all this these can be motivator or demotivator factor itself as well mac clayland then he said about the need to achieve risk work is outcome versus success so need to be need to be look around what risk people are taking what outcome what success near to them so you have to minimize the risk you have to provide them fewer chances they can ex- Uh, succeed and achieve according to what their potential you have to explore their potential and you have to give them opportunity to lead them in their sector so these are all the motivational theories if you are a leader you have to explore them and you can influence influence them to motivate to be achieve the organization performance so last lesson we discuss about performance management so leadership role is a key there so skills knowledge style standard goals power base type of the people of relationship all this is the leadership you have ability to do something yes this all leads to you good understand the external environment you good understand the system and the structure within our organization you good interact with individual if you do all this you can create effectiveness of the organization and you can lead organization into be a good brand good image you can uh, provide the extra value to your client and ultimately you can be a leader yes inspiring so mm-hmm. there is a great quote from various leadership is determined by the business performance invest in business that that any idiots can run sorry is abusive language there but they just you know purpose behind because the sooner or later when will suggesting that the reputation of the business leaders are mainly based on the quality of the business they end up running rather than their personal characteristics however not everyone agree with that perspective so resources include summary of the survey there are a lot of research happen so i'm doing what sort of the survey found what in a list the factor make effectiveness of leader a clear strategies 26% are the response if the leader have a clear strategy they are innovation they have innovation they focus on the financial result good financial knowledge so the knowledge market and the product market positioning when they ask in a list look and identify ineffective leadership so they said you know what are the ineffective lack of strategic clarity dishonest ineffective in the cn making failure to adopt the change lack of knowledge lack of direction poor results short term thinking not long term thinking so leader thinks long term leader can influence so that's all about you know so as a good leader we need to look around and this research clearly indicates you know so leader can either in the hospitality as well in other industry leader can play huge leader can make and break think about nokia which we quoted example nokia phone used to be a leader in the world but is because only due to the one action of the leader cut the cost and the research and development they not managed to produce the smartphone well in time and 
the Apple and various other companies, they capture the market share and Nokia becomes shrinking and the small company. So we need to look around those why we reach. Any question, Peter? No, no. Okay, next, no, next we're looking 4.2. So we're looking apply theories. We're looking apply theory. What theory? What sort of theories? So we're looking organization behavior, appraise leadership and management to tourism and hospitality organization. So like I earlier mentioned, McGregor has developed two theories, human behavior. So we need to understand the human. Theory X, theory Y. It did not imply the workers would be one type or the other type. Rather, he saw the two theories, two extremes. So theory X workers could be described as individual who dislike work and avoid it where possible. Individual who lack ambition, dislike responsibility and prefer to be led. Individual who desire securities management implication of theory X where to achieve the organization objective would need to be imposed in the management system and we can look around the uh, uh, punishment sort of control systems so that will help you know they are he's believe people are lazy people are not really motivated people just you know want job security so we need to be uh good in the punishment if you don't do it what punishment can be in term of financially uh another in term of the growth so that's the saying you know people so as a leader we need to be that's he focus on it then he said no 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 come on now i'm going to give one other theory as well theory why worker are characterized by are the categorized by to consider the effort at work as just like rest are the play ordinary people who don't dislike the work depending on the working condition work could be considered as a source of satisfaction or the punishment so that's why we need to be if you're saying oh you stop the music is it because the music maybe can increase the work performance so individual so if we can give them oh no you can't listen the call yes maybe listening call can improve the performance like in schools we use schools used to be banned the mobile smartphone but no school saying no no you kids are allowed to use the mobile phone because they can use but they are motivate them to use for the learning perspective not just are making study buddy to learn from each other so individual who see the responsibility they are motivated the management implication theory x workers are to be achieve organization reward of varying the kind likely to be most popular motivated the challenging we can management with the theory why worker is create a working environment so we need to create a working environment we need to create a culture within our organization where the people will be motivated not just you know we put the fear of punishment mm -hmm. so like a carrot and stick theory was previously give them punishment okay then uh, in this we can look around in it is the field of uh, organization investigate the impact of individual group and the structure on behavior in the organization purpose of applying such knowledge towards improving the organization systematic study of behavior we have to do of both individual and the group within our organization concern itself the scientific study or the behavior process which occur work setting so we need to look around focus on the understanding explaining individual group behavior we need to look around within the strategy think about when we're dealing with the client think about the price what effect will be 799 why is the 799 pricing behavior pricing yes it's a representative I paid it seven ninety nine. Even I'm not getting one penny back. Why? It's I'm paying eight pound. Guess one is come eight. Some company they start seven seventy seven. Or why seven seventy seven, not seven seven point nine nine? So yeah. they changing because that that's you know nine nine nine. Yes. So that's you know it's a really link with the behavior thing. So we need to be look around understanding prediction of management human behavior in the organization 
we need to good understand focus on the understanding explaining individual and the behavior in the organization is concerned with the people do in the organization how behavior can affect the performance yes behavior can affect the hugely performance if you're not happy are uh, you not really you you're not good sleep yes are uh, you not you know satisfy or uh, something happen in your family how you can behave at work effectively so that's why if you're stressed that's why we can maybe give the leave to the people or we can give the flexibility or flexible working hours in different shifts so because we can want to be improve ob organization behavior is a field of study investigating the impact of individual group and the structure have on the behavior within ob organization behavior is improving productivity that's the key reducing the absentees we need to look around why people are absent mm -hmm. from work why people so we need to create a lot of company key. that's why they offering the free gym if you're at work maybe you get the break and go for gym one hour or two hours whatever yes improve the turnover increasing employees set job satisfaction organization commitment or we use the systematic study of improved prediction behavior yes so we can look around yeah. ot organization theories focus on the organization as the unit of analysis organization attributes such as a goal technology and the culture in the subject of study but organizations theories often use an across organizational approach is called micro prospective gathering the new knowledge but in the organization behavior we need to be look around the human resource management element so if you recruit the right people for the right job with the right skill that can be so that's why it's called star method of interview where the people can assess the competencies based on behavior what was the situation what was the task what action what result so that's star method of interviews it's called competency based interviews because becoming more popular ob is concerned more concept of oriented hrm hrm human resource apply technique and the behavior technology human resource try to provide the link between the individual organization by designing and implement the system to attract develop and motivate individual individual within organization mm -hmm. so that's so you know we can link with two is all about the behavior theory we can discuss so many different sort of theory mcgregor theory x y maslow can be that also impact if you meet the needs all you know there are various other theories as well but we just focus few uh 4.3 justify the role of human resource management developing leadership and management with the tiers human resource management can play is the signal what's come in a human resource hrm HRM is a it's a recruitment selections job description job design personal specification training and development so all is a part of human resource mm -hmm. so it can be first thing if your job design effective you advertise in the right media where like a newspaper like a magazine not only just because you pro pick the best candidate you need to look around your selection is it based on liking and disliking yours or is it based on be so you have a selection procedures effectively so effective manager need to understand the behavior and attitude imply they are knowing about the th theories managers can pursue to reduce names and when the employees recognize that the if there is any disturbance external impose an uncontrollable the pressure is also decrease reward and the significant enough offset so we need as a manager to point to the external forces such as competitor if you are a manager and other implication managers if there is a relatively strong proof that the commitment and satisfy implies have a lower rate of turnover so we need to look around as turnover of employees is the more employees will engage less will be absentees ultimately will help how we can do it 
So there are two approaches of HR. One is called hard HR, one is called soft. So what are the soft and hard? Treat people simply as a resource of business like a machinery and the building. Can we treat human being as a building and the machinery? So strong link with corporate business planning with the resource do we need and how do we get them and how much will be the cost? Soft treat implies as the most important resource, not like a machine, more than the machine. So that's the key. That's the soft approach of HR. Employees are treated individual and their needs are planned accordingly. For focus HRM, identify the workforce needs of the business and recruit and manage hiring, moving and firing. Focus mm -hmm. on HR, concentrate on the needs of the employees, their, reward, uh, their role, the reward and the motivation. Key features, short term changes, you can to make people redundant, you just focus on the cost, you need to balance your book. But yeah. soft is you look the long term perspective of the workforce planning, not short. You give them training. That's why, what is the difference between training and development? Is there any difference? Training and development? Yes. Uh, with, training, uh, with training, you want to improve your employees? Uh, you want to be responsible for the good performance, I would think, in your business. So what about the development? Sorry? What about the development? Is there any difference the between them? I don't know. I think that they're synonymous, maybe. Training is just you teach them how they perform the job. Development, mm. you are developing them in you meet the strategic objective. Like you doing this course and this course is sponsored by your organization, but you're working in different department at the moment. But they want to develop you to be become a future leader. Leader oh. does not mean you become a CEO of the company. Leader can be only the team leader. Mm -hmm. So that's why they are investing money on those. Yes. So yes. that's the development. But the training is just about day-to-day -day meets or the legislation to meet. Right. So minimum communication from the top down. Strong two-way communication is the soft approach. Pay enough and recruit and retain. But the competitive pay structure with mm -hmm. the suitable performance-related reward, that's the soft. So there is a difference between soft and hard. Hard is looking the short term, soft is looking the long term, yeah? Yeah. So that's, you know, more the, there is a taller structure, there is a flatter structure with more link, more closely working with the senior level management. More right. democratic style, more autocratic style in the hard. So mm -hmm. these are the two approaches of soft and hard can be used to improve the performance and improve the behavior side of individual in especially in the hospitality industry we more focus know the soft approach okay hr and the organization implies the work attitude theories and the concept to reduce so always we want to be disturbance to be reduced by using different by job performance should be leads feeling to accomplishment increase pace promotion Strategic human resource. What is a strategic long term human? Good business strategy is informed by people factors. In many forward thinking organizations, people are now recognized as the biggest asset. Their knowledge, skills, and ability is deployed to the maximum effect of the organization to create. It's an intangible value. What is the intangible? We can't see it, we can't touch it, we don't have a physical substance, but still is the value is gaining recognition among accountants, investors, and it's generally no accepted that the implication of the long-term sustained performance. The way people are managed, motivate, and deploy, availability of the skills and knowledge all shape the business strategy. Individual HR strategies, however, may be shaped by the business strategies. So the business strategy is about improving customer service, this may be translated into discrete 
our HR strategies involve the use of the training plan or the performance improvement plan. Mm -hmm. So if we want influence of the strategic process, HR professional ability to add value through their partnership with the senior executive and increase following. A broad understanding of the business, help HR to contribute values about overall direction of the company. A knowledge how all the activity need to be in line. A knowledge help the company to maximize the success, success of the strategic initiative, eventually deliver value to the customer. A professionalism in investing in human resource capital and HR processes with the disability. HR can help guide people and organization decision. A unique perspective allow HR an idea of merchant to enable strategic advantage through people and organization outcome. Yes, you're selling it. You're a merchant. You're a trader. So because you can and you get the reward for it. You not a part of you. That's why giving the shares to the individual. They have a sense of they are owner in the business. They not a employees in the business. Influence HR needs to be find a path of the least re resistance to influence managers to change their roles, responsibility, attending to employees need to achieve HR must skill at enabling managers. So HR can play a significant. So you make as a team, you put the your employees in the center, like you know, your customer. You have to listen to them. Yes, prospective role in the seeing manager can ex accomplish function of training, trainer or educator by creating ongoing learning environment. So in our organization, we have a mentor, mentoring scheme. We have a leader, leadering scheme. We are collective learning. Yes, we can create a forum where people can learn and share. So I included one of the case study Mm -hmm. which is called Enterprise Rent-A-Car. So it's quite popular organization and maybe you heard uh, it's in Europe is growing as well. Yeah, I've heard it, yeah. So it's good to lead. This is all about how this organization is doing. Okay, so let's, if we'll, can you see now? Yeah. Okay, so Enterprise Rent-A-Car is founded in, yes? Mm -hmm. If their turnover is significant increasing, I'm not going through in detail, but that's a bullet point. They yeah. have a growth, they have an entrepreneurial team, the role mm -hmm. of HRM management training and development, workforce planning, labor market, and they're making strategy. Right. This place, HR function is the central role in the business because all managers are ex expertized to be acquired the staff. Yes, they are quite expert. Attracting mm -hmm. applicant, mm -hmm. diversification, external recruitment, internal, they have a mentoring programs, yes, presentation right. on the companies, clubs, then they have a good linkage, enterprise career path, you have opportunity to grow in different sectors, yes, you can be a branch manager, you can HR, you can, yes, vehicle mm -hmm. acquisitions, Recruitment, how they are doing, they are creating a cultures on job training, of job training. Yes, so they are saying to be honest, I didn't rely now all about the company until I came across on the website. So what you know, the talent pool they have created and they're looking come alive, how the selection process, selection, how they assess the competencies job descriptions, personal specifications, how they design, yes, flexibility, persuasiveness, mm -hmm. result-driven leadership ability, communication. So all this lead them to, yes, job analysis draw. So they have a clear structural approach, coaching, and then ultimately the result service-oriented business like enterprise must deliver the perfect service every time to keep customers satisfied. An mm -hmm. unhappy customer is unlikely to come back. Yeah. Enterprise operate highly competitive workforce in order to continue this growth and 
expansion enterprise focus on delivering very high level of customer its strategy to recruit the people with the right skill competencies help the business to carry out the aims and objective in order to keep these key skills in the business enterprise provide continuous development and training its people as they progress along their career path yes so that's the key thing so is a good case study to be read and we can yes, read as well if you want to so any question no 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 okay so today lesson we just learn about our last lo which is learning outcome 4 where we learn about mm -hmm. uh our first 3.4.1 uh, we learn about critically analyze the role of leadership where we can discuss the leadership and we can link contextualize to a hospitality industry maybe mm -hmm. we can pick a holiday in and the role of leader a holiday in ceo what changes they made yes so we can contextualize our discussion and we can add example and then we discuss about second uh 4. Point. so oh, sorry where am i in slide so next we discuss 4.2 apply the theory of organization behavior critically appraise management and leadership we discuss about theory x and y as well and we discuss in previous some behavior theories like high pawn studies all these are the motivational yes and that leads to be understand uh, there are number of other theories as well but we just focus few uh and then we discuss about hmrm uh, human resource management role within the hospitality industry we discuss you know it's very crucial to be and we discuss hard and soft approach and we discuss you know in hr we need to be more soft approach yes what is this how this can be in influence and we discuss about the case study of a enterprise rent a car so that's all today lesson so if you have any question please feel free drop me email and uh, your assignment uh, which is have you check your assignment scenario yes i see it now okay so you have assignment brief so if we look here all the learning outcome first you know we been given the instruction uh, with the yeah. reference to the uh, hospitality in this organization of your choice describe the different types of organization sole trader partnership okay. and companies what is meant by sole trader is the 1% business partnership 2 and 20 and the company is uh, most of the uh, hospitality businesses Uh, are the companies because the big organization some they can running one person and some can be partnership yes yeah so we can discuss about advantages and disadvantages company can issue shares company can expand the business yes the sale yeah. then yeah. Uh, organization behavior model autocratic yes and sportive and others so that's you know model we can uh, if you want me i can send you the separate slide for this to address it yeah uh, uh, simply if you type this word and next to that if you write the tutor to you yes yeah? so you can yeah. find all you know and we can we discuss about management structure organization structure as well in our second mm -hmm. lesson and objective our organization assess the suitability of the management structure so maybe right. we can contextualize we can download the company's annual report like we did a holiday in and we can look around the organization structure yes we can argue it is there yes we can review if the structure is appropriate of organization or not yes okay. and the third justify organization could modify the objective of the structure to increase so we can look around the profitability of holiday in and maybe we can say you know organization structure is it okay because they are increasing profit or maybe mm -hmm. they need to be cut some managers or maybe they need to be include more yeah? 
yeah. that can be then we have a case study which is called legoland park and resort is in in the uk and different part of the world as well so okay. the in, uh, entertainment and they have operation in many countries by using this case case study using the information from the link uh, your research and the performance and analyze the current external environment and assess the external environment affect how external environment we discuss about political economic social maybe we can say a tariff war between china and the united state can affect this business as well or like other businesses yes like yeah. problem of uh, insecurity in various countries problem of recent airline yes which is happen one of the flight yes boeing yeah. so all this can be other oil prices can be leads to are the conflict between Iran and Saudi Arabia, the oil field? Yes, that can be impact. You know this business as well. Yes. So we can produce one PowerPoint presentation. We can discuss a little bit history of this company. We can discuss about external environment, and we can pick the factor what can be. Yes, use. What factor will be more of is economic, social, or technological? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So next now, is it okay this one? Yes. Yeah, yeah. They are saying one PowerPoint, one lecture feedback form, one handout if is applicable, one MP recording presentation if applicable. So even you do one presentation, yes, if you want to record, we can record, yes. Well, what I mean is if applicable. So you can like, you know, you can produce one PowerPoint slide. Yeah, yes. of course. You can on the slide you can give the little bit introduction. Legoland be set up. How many countries they have operation? What their organization objective? Yeah. Yes, and you mm -hmm. can look around the performance in terms of how what's happened last two years, three years, their profit. You discuss about external environment. Yes, and then mm -hmm. you can make all this into PowerPoints. Yes, few slides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to present, maybe we can record it. We can present as well, like your presentation on this by preparing the PowerPoint slide. Right. And the task three is the essay. Where we looking 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, which we discussed today last time. Yes, with reference to organization of your choice. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can be even can be linked with. Task yes. Two. Up yeah. two or three, if you want to, mm -hmm. and evaluate the role of leadership. So we can discuss about role of leader. Yes, we can discuss yeah. about different theories of leadership style, and uh, how leader can help and the make and the HR role in the specialty industry. And thus, we need 900 words to be right. Okay. Any question there? When I write these reports, should I focus on trying to answer the uh... Assessment criteria or just the scenario, the questions in the scenario? Yes, because you answer according to the scenario, but in the scenario we are addressing 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. Right. So, like, you know, we can say, okay, human resource management, what is meant by recruiting, selection, this and that, yes. And then we mm -hmm. can say, according to the Maryland, is an entertained business. So, they need the people, those are entertained individuals, yes. Those have those sort of skills, yes. Yeah. So they have to be approach, you know, uh, I mean, competency based interview maybe can introduce, yes, something. Uh, if you want me, I can send you some case studies and things that will help you. Okay, so because if you look there, the first one we are looking 1.1, 1.2. So in mm -hmm. that really, in that scenario we are addressing. So maybe when you're doing, you can look around the lessons, yes. Yeah. And you can pick the theories as well, yes? Right. And you can contextualize with the examples. Huh? And the, when you do this one is a presentation, maybe you can look around assessment criteria 2.2 .2 and 2.3.1. Huh? Right, okay. So we in 3.1, we discuss about performance and things. 2.2, huh? we discuss about 2.2 was analyze the ways external environment operating. Yes, how yeah. can impact? So we discuss about some legislations and things. 
Right, okay. So we can contextualize to in this case, yes? Okay. Like in this, uh, which is weird. Any question? No, that's okay. I understand. Okay, I think so. You're okay in terms of the reference and things, yes? Yes. Okay, brilliant. If any question, drop me email. I can arrange, you know. Uh, okay, of course. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Uh, Next, do you want, I don't know about the lesson, how you want to arrange it. Uh, uh, yes, so we will, supposed to be, we finish this modules. We will start new now unit, yes. So what start? I'll do. Is, so, it okay by, is it okay if I let you know when we can start new unit? Because I want to catch up on some work. This unit. Uh, as you want, I think so I can discuss with the, Raman, and then uh, we can pick next my duel. And if you want uh, to complete this assignment first, then we maybe we can give one week break. But otherwise, we can maybe start from the next lesson. But you carry on doing assignment in two weeks' time. At least well, so we can. I, I should be submitting the unit two today, I think, or tomorrow. Okay, and good. And I'll start on this unit. Okay, that's fine, no problem. So, you know, when normally you finish within two weeks, normally we say, you know, submit your assignment. Mm -hmm. So maybe within two weeks time, you can submit this one then. You focus on the other unit two, yes, you submit unit two first, and then if you need any help, any extra resources, let me know so I can forward you. Okay. All right, then. Well, I will, I, I will get on this unit within this week. I will send this unit. No problem.